Hello, my dear students. So today we will see some of the important terms. So yesterday we have seen position, path length, displacement, speed, velocity. So today we will see the acceleration and we will see the VT graph and position time graph and also we'll, uh, I will try to cover the equations of motion. So let us start with acceleration. So what is meant by acceleration? So now if a body is moving with a constant speed, suppose there is a vehicle here, it is moving with a constant speed and it is said to have a uniform acceleration. That means well, acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of the velocity okay as the velocity changes with respect to time it gives rise to acceleration so therefore what we can write here the definition as i will write the definition the rate of change of velocity is called acceleration it is called acceleration so here you can see i'll show you the rate of change of velocity is called acceleration and it is denoted by a equals v by t it is given by a equal to v by t and what is the si unit meter per second square it is taken as meter per second square si unit is meter per second square dimensional formula dimensional formula is m naught l t raised to minus 2 is the dimensional formula of acceleration again here also we have uniform acceleration average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration so for uniform acceleration and average acceleration so average acceleration we can take it as a equal to a average i will write with the subscript uh, a a v and this is given by delta v by delta t which is equal to v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 where v2 is the velocity at time t2 and v1 is the velocity at time t1. So v2 is the final velocity, v1 is the initial velocity and what is instantaneous acceleration? Again, we get the limiting value. Delta T tends to 0. Delta V upon delta T which is equal to TV by DT. You can write it as DV by DT. So, this is the instantaneous acceleration. So, once more I will show you from a distance. So, what is acceleration? The rate of change of velocity is called acceleration A equal to V by T. SI unit is meter per second square. Dimensional formula M naught L T raised to minus 2. Average velocity is delta V by delta T. V2 minus V1 by T2 minus T1. Where V2 is the velocity at time T2. That is the final velocity. And V1 is at the time T1, it is the initial velocity. Instantaneous acceleration is limit tending to delta T tending to 0. 
डेल्टा वी बाय डेल्टा टी डी वी बाय डी टी सो स्टूडेंट्स लेटस सी नाउ पोजिशन टाइम ग्राफ सो हाउ ग्राफिकली वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट द पोजिशन ऑफ द बॉडी विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू इट्स टाइम ओके इफ द बॉडी इज मूविंग देन एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम इन विच पोजिशन इट विल बी ऑक्युपाइंग दैट वी विल सी ग्राफिकली नाउ ओके सो हियर इन पोजिशन टाइम ग्राफ वी विल टेक हियर एज द ओरिजिन and along x axis we will consider the quantity time and along the y axis we will take the position or displacement or distance whatever it is x we will take right and uh, we will see number of uh, graphs here so if it is a straight line and the, let us take it as a graph a and here the second graph we will take it as it is t and here it is x this is b so it is c graph and the final one d okay so these are the four graphs a b c and d so first one you can see the nature of the graph here the displacement is uh, parallel to the time that means the body is at rest body at rest because as the time is passing on wherever you take suppose it is at 10 seconds when you see in the body it is at the same position if the if the, if the when you have started the time from zero Uh, suppose it is like five meter from a reference point, okay, from a building or from your house. The uh, car is located at five meter from your house, okay. So at time when you have started seeing that car, it will be there only. Then after ten minutes or ten seconds, the car will be in the same position if it is. not moving then again after 20 seconds it will be there only then what type of nature you will get, be getting is this that means the body will be have the body is at rest okay so the position gra graph time is constant here and if we take the slope of this that is we get velocity x upon t so that will be equal to 0 velocity will be equal to 0 in the first graph okay understood so the slope of the position time graph will be velocity that is along y axis it is x means and along y uh, x axis it is t so slope is the tangent sin by cos that is y axis by x axis so x upon t here so here it is not changing so x2 minus x1 if we consider and this is t2 minus t1 so always it will be 5 minus 5 upon 10 minus 20 uh, 20 minus 10 so 5 minus 5 is 0 0 divided by any number is again a 0 so therefore velocity of the body will be 0 now if we take the second graph now the body is moving constantly it will be moving increasing the position is increasing so what type of graph it is uniform velocity so wherever we take the nature or the slope you will get a constant value okay so suppose here it is like 1 2 3 if we consider 4 and here as 1 2 3 meter 4 meter and this is in second 
okay now if i take this one 4 and this as 2 4 minus 2 divided by 4 minus 2 so it will be v is equal to 1 we will be getting okay that is 2 by 2 1 so all here also we will get the same thing so it is a constant velocity that means the body is moving with the constant velocity hope you are understanding here the second graph so if it is a linear graph then the velocity will be a constant constant velocity the uniform velocity or constant velocity the body will be moving with the uniform velocity i'll rub off this because it is becoming very untidy to look now let us see the third one so here third one it is increasing but it is accelerating it has a different velocity the body is having different velocity variable we'll say this as a velocity as a variable velocity the body is moving with a variable velocity so this is the nature of such a graph that means if the body if the body is moving and uh, sometimes it uh, ha it is at rest suddenly it takes a jump here if the body accelerates the vehicle accelerates means it will be having a variable velocity sudden increase okay and the final one here it is it is a decreasing velocity the body has reached a final position and suddenly it comes to rest to the ground so for example if you throw if you, if, if you have thrown a object upwards and it is falling towards the ground the fall towards the ground is given by this it comes to rest so this is taken as a rest graph and it will be decreasing velocity the body is having decreasing velocity so this is about the position time graph and here also the velocity is a very variable velocity it is not it is not constant the velocity is not constant v is variable variable velocity here in this graph okay so first graph is the body is at rest here the body is increasing linearly or the uh, velocity is uniform in the third graph c the body is increasing velocity but it is a variable velocity and the last one it is decreasing velocity okay hope you have understood this position time graph so position we should take along the y-axis and time we have to take along the x-axis yes students welcome back so now we'll see uh, velocity time graph so here in uh, the how you have to find uh, draw the graph is the nature of graph will be along y-axis we will take the velocity along x-axis we will take the time so now in the first graph we see the nature as the graph is in a straight line it is parallel to the x-axis so that means the velocity is uniform the body is moving but it has a uniform velocity okay so for example planetary motion electrons revolving around the nucleus so all these are uniform velocity that means here acceleration the slope what we get here v by t is the acceleration slope of v vt graph is acceleration so here it is zero because the velocity is uniform acceleration will be zero so in the second nature here the acceleration is here the velocity is having the uh, it moves from the rest and moving with uniform positive acceleration in the second graph it move it is increasing velocity it moves with the uniform positive acceleration okay right then in the third it starts from the initial velocity u okay and again it has the same uniform positive acceleration 
द नेचर द स्लोप विल बी यूनिफॉर्म पॉजिटिव एक्सेलरेशन बट द बॉडी विल स्टार्ट नॉट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द रेस्ट बट इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम अ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन इट हैज अ यूनिफॉर्म मोशन एंड इन द फोर्थ वन वी हैव द डिक्रीजिंग वेलासिटी डी एक्सेलरेट्स सो नाउ फ्रॉम अ हाई वेलासिटी इन फाइनल वेलासिटी इट हैज कम टू रेस्ट इट इज डी एक्सेलरेट डिसलरेशन और रिटारडेशन ओके एंड हियर इट इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सेलरेशन बट वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन इट इज इंक्रीजिंग एक्सेलरेशन वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन एंड हियर इट इज डिक्रीजिंग लास्ट वन I'll show you. The last one is decreasing acceleration, variable acceleration. Okay, understood. If the graph comes in this way, it will be decreasing acceleration. If the graph moves from origin and in upward direction, like in the fifth one, it will be positive acceleration but variable acceleration. It is not uniform acceleration. this is what i have today for you guys so please subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care and go through the study material what i'll be showing now you can pause it and take the notes of this